beautiful babes welcome back into the channel listen today i'm doing something a little bit different over here on beauty by sweet angel because many of you all have asked about my hair and how do i get it this color so today i'm going to show you in detail the products and the steps i take in order to do that now i won't be doing much of any shampooing and all of that but i will give you the steps to how i actually bleach my hair I do try to sometimes get it platinum but because I just don't take every step to leave these products on my hair for an extra long time my hair is still going to have a tinge of yellowness to it unless I use my shimmering lights to tone it down somewhat so let's get into today's bleaching and today I will be bleaching my hair twice so that's how it got a little bit lighter it has been a while y'all because I've just given my hair a little bit of a break over the last couple of weeks because most of the time I do bleach my hair once a week I know that's a lot but the roots grow out super super fast so this is my hair as of this video. I have buzzed it down quite a bit and it's now growing back out. So as you can see, the roots are pretty dark in there that uh, it's grown out pretty good here lately. So I'm just combing it through right now. But the very first step I take in coloring in my hair is to protect my skin. So I do put on Vaseline to protect around my ears, the neck area, my shoulders even, just in case I make a little bit of a mistake and drop something on my shoulder and I put the rest all over my hair. Now, if you're being real fancy, I know most people have a mixing bowl and a hair coloring brush, but I use just an empty BW2 container that has a lid on it. That is how I do mine. Now this is my large container of BW2 powder lightener. I have the de-dusted extra strength. So all I'm going to do now is add a cup or two or three or four into my container. I'm going to mix it with a developer here in just a moment, but I'm trying to get enough in there so I can do two applications. So I added four scoops of the powder lightener into my container. Next, I'm mixing in the developer in there. Now, I'm just going to add enough in there to make it a creamy consistency. I am using volume 50, but you can feel free to use 10, 20, 40 volume. It's left up to you and how your hair takes to it. Now, I'm not a hair professional, so I am not one to be taken for actual and factual on how this should be done. This is just how I've been doing my hair since 2005. This is what I do. This is what I know to do for my own hair. And there is the creamy consistency I would love to have each and every time I do my hair. Also, don't come for me about wearing gloves. I don't wear gloves. I simply comb mine in using this rat tail comb and I apply my product. And then with my bare hands, I do circulate it all around my hair, getting into my roots and so forth. So please, I've done this for, again, since 2005, I still got my fingers, I still have my toes, and it's been no problems with it, and I'm happy about that. Maybe that's why my hands stay so nice. I don't know, <laughs> but this is how I do it, and I just rub it all around, getting my edges, and again, circulating it throughout. Now, most times I do put a plastic processing cap 
over my hair. I didn't have one in the bathroom and didn't want to skimmy through the house naked today. Just wanted to go ahead and get this done and complete it. Yes, it does kind of burn my eyes or not burn them, but you know, it is definitely fumes. So make sure you keep, you know, your door open in the bathroom or window open if you have a smaller bathroom that does not circulate air in there. So there I am doing the back, making sure I have every portion of it covered. Now I see a lot of people who put this on and leave it on for 30 minutes or an hour. Now I don't. At most, mine will stay on 15 minutes. But as you see, I do already have bleached hair for the most part. The only thing that's not is the roots. So I will leave it on for about 15 minutes and then I will go and rinse it off. Now right here, I'm just going to check on my hair, make sure all is good and that the color is taking where I want it to, kind of comb it through in the root area there, not hard, just gently dragging the comb through there, just checking on everything. And once it's all good, and it's been on there about 15 minutes for me, if you want to leave it longer, that's your option. I don't leave it any longer than 15 minutes. I go ahead and proceed to wash my hair. But I don't actually use the shampoo for the first go round. I actually use my conditioner on the first go round. Now I showed my shampoo there, but I use conditioner. And after I come out of the shower, this is what my hair is looking like right now. I'm just gonna pat it dry so that I can proceed on and put in the second processing of it. I'm just taking a paper towel here and making sure it's good and dried off and no water running. I will go ahead and apply Vaseline again around the edges of my hair, my ears, my shoulders, etc. and do it all over again. So you see I put that Vaseline on my hands as well. Now that's my conditioner. I just mix all of my conditioners together and now I'm slathering another layer of all of this mixture over my hair again and um, I made a little mistake and dropped some on my back, so I had to go ahead and get that off. But now I'm just speeding through the process. This is the second application, and once I get it on, again, no more than 15 minutes on the second layer of the actual bleaching products. And once I finish that, I'll go ahead and use my shampoo, which does have shimmer lights mixed in my shampoo, and I'll use my conditioner and get it all cleansed off. So second go round, this is what she's looking like. That's my shampoo, the purple one, and that helps to tone it down after I wash it out. And then my shampoo is again, a mixture of everything. And the conditioner again is a mixture of everything that I love. Once it gets down to the nitty gritty, I just mix all of my products in one simple, easy container, as long as I know they work well. And this is it. So I'm going to go ahead and let it sit in for about 15 minutes, no more than that. And then I'll go ahead and wash it out. And it does look like it did take a little bit more of the yellowness out. So I'm just combing through, checking on everything. And I'll go ahead and now proceed to washing my hair. Again, this is my two application process. So let's wash it out. And we did that and we are done. This is what the hair is looking like, beautiful babes. It is finito. Super, super glad to try that process. And I love it because it did, again, take the brassiness out of it a little bit better than before. And this is it, beautiful babes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit different for this channel over here, but it's also on Keeping It Cute with Sweet Angel. So 
check it out over there as well if you like. I am Sweet Angel signing out for now. Thank you a bunch for being over here and all of my channels. And if you need any of these products I mentioned in this video, you'll find them in the description box as well as the first pinned comment on this video. Take care until next time, beautiful babes, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now, and please keep on sharing me with your world. Bye now. Take a trip on it. When a girl who can go slow.